All right, guys, we are back with some more MX versus ATV Legends. Today, we have some monster lines to show you. But before we get to that, this is pretty sick. So we did show you the the monster energy graphics for the Kawasaki. But here we've got the Yamaha. So basically, you can make Eli Tomac pretty much really, really awesome. Um, this is the bike, the rider we use in the video, but you also can get Ken Roxon, and I show you that here in a second, right here. Really awesome. Now, I know it isn't perfect because we don't have Red Bull helmet, Tomac didn't have Oakley goggles, we don't have them in the game, uh, a few other odds and ends, but for the most part, looks pretty good. Now, you will have to be on PC if you want to get this because it is a mod by Pay 2021. Um, kind of weird to install the first time, but after you do it, it isn't so bad, and he keeps updating it. This is new stuff. He did update the graphics kit for Roxen to be more accurate, I guess, but, uh, yeah, so the monster lines, you just saw that quad quad. This is from one of the Australian tracks in the Supercross World Tour DLC. This, these were pretty tough, um, not impossible, but pretty tough, and the reason, I mean, some of you guys probably know about it. You don't have to be a great player to be able to hit this stuff. But um, I was using my my basic setup and the manual transmission. Probably could use the automatic, but the automatic, it, it wants to shift sometimes too early. So I wanted to use second, and it would try to shift to third, so the bike would bog a bit. Those Australian tracks have some huge lines that you can go for. Maybe you guys know about other ones, but those are the ones that I'm aware of. This is the um, the Japan tracks, and I don't have much to show you here. There wasn't, I think, most of the lines here are pretty straightforward. But the reason I want to do this, and I do have a few stock tracks, stock Supercross tracks to show you, is because they've done some updating to the game, right? So the traction has been adjusted many times, the way you ride the ruts and the berms, you can, you get so much more traction in the corners, so you have so much more speed to hit some of this stuff. So some of these lines that were really, really difficult to get, maybe not even possible when the game first came out, are now very possible. Um, this is Italy. The line I showed you before is pretty tough. I kept casing it. That was the best I could do it. But it was really easy to overjump this triple in. And that's why, because you can actually throw down a quad, quad, uh, some big stuff at the Italian tracks for the Supercross World Tour DLC. Just was kind of messing around in the game, and it felt like, okay, the lines that I've been showing you feel like they're too easy. We can probably do more. Now, this one is kind of tough. You have to have a good entrance to hit that quad, but it isn't impossible. I don't really know if it's faster, because you still have a double, but... Um, it is a possibility. There's a few different ways you can hit this section with some big stuff to throw down, as well as this section, but I will show you this section that we're going through is a bit tricky because the way you have to hit it. So, first we throw down a triple... Was that a five? If you count the table as a double, that was... I think it was a five. But to hit this section, it's easier if you hit it on the right side and kind of cross jump because you don't go as high, so you have more forward momentum to throw down, to jump, you know, all the way out through the rest of that rhythm section. So, um, some fun stuff there. And then there's one more here after this Supercross style triple going into this corner. You can triple. Maybe you could do a bit more, but I feel like that probably works the best because then you have a double into the corner and it, it just feels like the timing's pretty good. Now, the rest of them I have are just standard the, st uh, the stock Supercross tracks. Now, this would be San Diego. This probably was possible before because it isn't so much about the traction because you it's just a big sweeper. But I couldn't get it clean. That was the very best I could hit that. That thing is huge. You're jumping the entire rhythm section. Um, I did try for quite a while, but that was the best I could do it. Now, this is Minneapolis. There's so many different ways you can hit this. I could not do that before. I think with the way the traction was and and the way you could hit berms and, and ruts in the game, that was so difficult to do. I'm not saying it isn't possible, but it's so easy to do it now. So just kind of coming back to the tracks and 
trying to do things that you couldn't do before or we could do but was difficult. This is pretty tough to triple off of that and then jump over the backside of the dragon's back. I don't think, you know, that probably isn't faster, but it's a big line. It's a big line, kind of fun to go for. Minneapolis has actually quite a few. And there probably is other ones that you can do it at different tracks or even these tracks, but these were the ones that I was going for for the time that I had to make this video. This would be Arlington. Now, I don't know. That quad, I feel like that might not have been easy or possible before, but again, with the uh, updates and the changes to the physics, pretty easy. Pretty easy now. Um, what was the other track? The track that's really cool, but it's really tough. I forget. Um, maybe it'll come to me, but for right now, I can't remember. There was some stuff that was just so difficult to do. Uh, was it Seattle? I think it was Seattle. That track has some really tough rhythm sections on it, but with the changes, it's just so easy. This would be Detroit. This, I don't think I could quad before, but you can't really triple or quad whatever quad out over the table because the jump isn't really big enough. But the triple, triple after it, very easy. I don't know. It's, it's just almost easy to over jump it. Now, this is Indy. This line, I never got again. I thought it was easy. This was the first lap I spawned in, and boom, we threw that down. Of course, we crash here, but I tried so many more times because I didn't want to have the crash in the video. I hate having that, but I couldn't get it. That is actually way, way more difficult than I than it seemed to be the first time I ever did it there. I've never done that before, but yeah, here we switch over to Ken Roxon. Those are the lines that I have to show you today, but I wanted to show you Ken Roxon on the progressive Suzuki because it's just really cool, right? It's really cool. If you're on console, you can't get it, so I want to show it to you so you can enjoy at least seeing it. Um, it'd be cool if MX vs ATV could get this stuff, but, you know, it's not as simple as just putting it in the game the way a modder can do it. One thing I do want to talk about, but I wanted to save it for the very end, is the preloading. So, after doing this video and after playing the game for over 200 hours, I kind of wasn't sure how I felt about the preloading. I mean, it's good. You have a separate seat bounce and preload, left stick, right stick, but it feels inconsistent. So, I'll try to get a full preload for some of those really big lines that I was trying to hit, but it... It wouldn't go you know sometimes it just wouldn't go and another thing that I noticed was that if I wrap the bike out in second gear I could never really get a full preload I couldn't get the green bar to show or whatever it was usually a red uh, yellow bar or no bar it was like if you have the bike wrapped out in a lower gear it doesn't preload as well as if you were to upshift and, and be in almost too high of a gear if I would upshift to third, I couldn't hit it because I didn't have the speed, but I could get a bigger preload. So, I don't know why it is that way. I, I'm not really sure. I, I kind of, I've seen somebody saying it a bunch, but I kind of do miss classic preload in the game. I mean, at this point, it'll probably never be changed because that's just the way the, the game was made. That's the way they wanted to do it. And I'm not saying it is a bad system, but it feels very inconsistent for me. And so it can make it very frustrating where I hit the corner really good, get a good run for the jump and get a good preload, but it just doesn't or it gives me such a, a wimpy preload. So yeah, I, it's a bit frustrating. I'm not saying the system is bad, but um, I think maybe that could be looked at a bit to see why you can't really get a full preload if you're wrapped out in second or third or whatever gear it may be. I mean, maybe you can sometimes, but I was paying attention to it and a majority of the time, it was just like, if we were tapped out in whatever gear it was, it just wouldn't give us that preload. So um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you know of different lines, if you know of bigger ones than the one we were doing, the ones we were doing. I'd be curious to see and how do you feel about the preload I think it's good I'm not saying it isn't good so I'm not criticizing it in a bad way it's just that's how it was for me and maybe I just need to practice it and get better at it and whatever because it is kind of a different system but yeah I don't know the mods are cool the lines were cool and maybe I'll go for some more if we get better at the game I'm still trying to improve I mean we're not a pro player here yes a bunch of you guys are way better than me so 
um, just trying to have fun with it and like I said just get better um, every time I play so yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think and we'll go from there but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot and until the next video take it easy